Hey guys, Pogosuk29 here. Welcome to episode 8 of Magic Battle. In this episode, we are going to add a bunch of listeners. Uh, we are getting close to the completion of this plugin, so uh, we're going to get the listeners in there, which is very important. That's a list of everything that we need, and I just realized we also need a player interact uh, listener. Now, before we begin, I don't know if anyone knows, but... I don't know if anyone knows why, but YouTube updated their website again today. Uh, they've done it a lot, and I'm not saying I don't like when YouTube updates the website, because I feel like I do like the new updates. But in this one, for whatever reason, YouTube thought that it would be a good idea to get rid of the thumbnail and channel art. I really liked my thumbnail and channel art, so I don't know what happened to it. I mean, it's still showing up up there, so it's not like it's vanished forever but it's not showing up on this page and I look through all the settings but I can't figure out how to get it to show back up so if anyone knows why YouTube did this or if it's an accident or if there's an easy way to fix it um yeah see I don't know what YouTube did but I'm just curious I did a quick Google search but I didn't find anything this updates pretty new I think it was just today all right so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make our new package called Listeners. Um, first, we can go ahead and implement the easy ones. So the first one, I believe, is a block break. Block break, yes. And... Actually, one interesting thing. Hmm. No, it's probably not worth it. So let's just go ahead and uh, do all of this. So first, the block break listener. at event handler. Look void on block break. Block break event e. Import everything. Okay, if arena manager dot get instance dot I know we've been using yeah get arena uh, for e dot get player equals null return or actual um, e dot set cancel true simple if the user doesn't have an arena if they're not in an arena doesn't matter. Otherwise, cancel the block break event because I don't want the block to be broken in my arena. That takes care of that. Now, lobby signs, we will do... I think that's going to get its own video. The reason why is um, I got a bunch of requests for... Um, lobby signs that like automatically update like uh, like in a lot of game plugins you'll see it'll have like join the arena but it'll also have like the number of players in that arena and you know the current state of the arena uh, in the old plugin we didn't have that but I think in this plugin I'm I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure out a way to do that so uh, lobby signs will come later uh, player death. I'm going to be referencing Pogo Ball a few times just because, uh, you know, very similar code. In fact, let me just get rid of all these errors. There we go. Alright. So, let's just go ahead and take this. And we will make a new class called... Oops. Called player death. Import everything. Okay, that was add death, which we don't need. And I think we can just go ahead and say remove. Now uh, let's take a look and see what our method is for uh, us remove player. Okay. And good. So that's player death. And don't worry if there are any bugs. 
we will test this and fix it. So let's see what, see what we did for player leave. That's just for removing the player if they decide to leave the server for some reason. So that can just be taken over. And we don't need that. Okay. Um, player lose hunger. Simple. Import everything correctly. That doesn't have any problems. Now, player interact is... We're going to do that right now. We have... Uh, good amount of time and this one is going to be a little bit more interesting I know that the rest of the video has been kind of boring but this is gonna be interesting don't worry implements uh, listener public at event handler public void on player interact Player interact event e if exclamation point e dot get action equals action dot right click air and exclamation point e dot get action is not e is equal to action dot right click block return we're not interested if it's a if it's not a right click. If exclamation point e dot get player dot get no oh, hang on if exclamation point e dot get player dot get item in hand dot get type equals material dot stick stick good return um and in fact we can first say if uh sorry arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for e dot get player equals null return because we can first say if they're not even in an arena there's no sense in checking the other stuff alright so we know that they're in an arena we know that they right clicked something and we know that they right clicked with a stick so we're then going to say item meta stick meta equals it's probably meta, but I'm gonna call it meta because it sounds cooler. E dot get item dot get item meta import if stick meta dot get and actually sorry we're going to first say for um wand w wand dot values if stick meta dot get name display name dot equals w dot get full name. So what we're doing is we're going through uh, every single uh, wand value, every single wand that we've defined, and we're saying if the display name of the stick of the stick is equal to the name of the wand. As in, you know, if we have a match here, then we are going to go ahead and say w dot run e, and so it will run the stick. It sorry, it will want run the um the run method for that specific wand, giving it the player interact event. So I believe we had oh yes our sample fire. So. What we'll, what we're doing is it will then call run, giving it a player interact event. So e dot get player. That's going to return the player that triggered the player interact event, and then it'll launch their projectile and whatever. But actually, before we do that, we need to say e dot uh, set cancel true. So because we don't want the we don't want anything to happen. Like we don't want them to right click with the stick and something happens. We just want to stop it, and then we want to uh, run the uh, wand runnable for that specific wand. All right, that should be good for the player interact. Uh, let's go ahead and register our listeners. All right, bucket dot get server dot get. Ah, sorry. 
and you know, we're just going to make this easier, dot get plugin manager. So we're just going to go ahead and say plugin manager pm equals bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager. Now normally I don't like doing this kind of thing, defining variables like this, but for the sake of this, since we have to register a bunch of these, it's just easier to say pm dot register event than bucket dot get server dot get plugin man. You know, it takes a while. So new lock break this make sure to import all of these pm dot register events new player death comma this pm dot register events new player interact comma this pm dot register events new player leave comma this pm dot register events new player lose hunger comma this and the only problem we have is because I forgot to make player death implement listener so there we go all right so that looks about good and with the remaining minute that we have to spare might as well make another one because when we go to test this uh, we're if we just have one wand we can't test the uh, randomness and all the different features so I'm thinking in every episode from now on if it's not too long we should we might as well just add another uh, wand or two Alright, now what does a water wand do? Hmm, good question. Um, well, maybe the wand, uh, maybe the water wand will get people wet. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we're not going to make a water wand. How about a, um, we will make a, a wand that will freeze people. So, how about a, uh, poison wand that will poison people near you? And we'll make that, like, dark purple, because it's poison. And then we're going to say, for entity E, E dot get player, what's wrong with that? dot get nearby entities 10 10 10 so all entities within a 10 mile 10 uh, block radius where's there we go e n there we go okay uh, we're then going to say if e n instance of player en dot en dot add potion effect and that doesn't exist okay so we're going to go ahead and say player en and that's that's an, an, a simple way of casting and we're going to go ahead and give it a new potion effect potion effect type dot poison um and then what does it take I totally forget uh int duration int amplifier duration will be a hundred I think that's a hundred actually say ten I believe and the amplifier will just be one and should be good and then we'll also go ahead and say player en and you you could just do the casting before this, but I'm being lazy. Dot send message um, chat color dot dark purple. You have been poisoned. I think that's right. By e dot get player dot get name. Alright, so that will add the 
poison effect, which I think will just take some damage away. And, you know, we'll figure that out. If, if 10 seconds is too long or that doesn't do what I thought it would do, then we will figure that out. All right, well, that is all for this video. On the to-do list, sorry, on the to-do list is um, lobby signs and trying to think of what else. Um, I don't know. That might actually be it. So we will so we'll implement a better lobby sign system and that might be the end I'm not sure I'll check and see if you guys can think of anything else important that I'm forgetting please let me know and I will add it to my to-do list All right so um, that is all for this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you liked this video, please click the like button. And I will see you guys hopefully this weekend. If not, I will see you next weekend. And goodbye.